We good. Oh, what's up? You know me and Kyle love working our rear delts because we suck at rear delts, but we did now we're pros. Worked on it a lot. We have an amazing series on rear delts. Check it out. But today we're gonna go over our all-time favorite rear delt exercise that we haven't actually shown in any videos. Probably do this six sets every shoulder workout. So get ready to check it out. Where my my protein springer please check them out we have 20 percent off for you here's the link you need to use down below as well as our 20 percent off code colossus so we're going around 60 to 80 degree angle for this bad boy we're bringing back the math <laughs> all right so we're going to simply take off these bad boys why would you do such a thing bro because we're going to be grabbing it from right here let's get it all right, this is probably like the coolest machine ever. So it's zero G, so it's all like pressurized. So there's no weight, it's pressure. So as you can see here, we can increase the pressure, we can lower the pressure. I'm gonna probably say around 25, and I'm gonna work this bad boy up. Working with, we're working that resistance, baby. So one time, Kyle got really confused on how to do this. You can't blame him, I get confused sometimes too. But to make it nice and easy, right to left. Swing over, left to right. Look like you're giving yourself a nice big hug. You're stepping out, your paws are going up. Putting on your machine, you might have to come in close. This is gonna be your starting position here. Straight arm, you may wanna keep your stomach sucked in, your glutes squeezed, and you're squeezing your rear delt with your arms as straight as possible, and you're coming back in. Keep it nice and under tension, keep that squeeze. All right, so angling for this exercise is extremely important. Because depending on how you angle it, if you're doing it like this, and you're doing a full tricep bend, you're gonna be simply working your triceps. The goal here is to really bring up your rear delt area. It's one of the exercises that I've done to help me out, because I used to have really bad rear delts. All right, so as your boy Kyle was saying, we don't wanna turn it, this exercise into something it isn't. We're here to work our rear delts, so let's make sure we achieve that. How so? The best way for having your arm about an inch above shoulder to work your shoulder, you wouldn't do it from here, you do it from up here. You want the tension there. So you're up a bit and you're squeezing backwards and you're really envisioning that squeeze. Now it's very easy to mess this one up, unfortunately, and bring in other muscle groups. The lower you go, the more you will be working your latissimus dorsi. Now you can kind of go in between if you want to hit this on a back day, kind of work, make sure you're working that big upper back area. You're gonna be about a little bit lower here and you're gonna be squeezing your rhomboids and your traps excellently. So this is a beautiful thing about this exercise is you can do the same exercise and have it work multiple different muscles. But for today, like we said, that focus, which Kyle is gonna show you on his next set, is to engage that rear delt. All right, so that wraps up this video. Now you guys have our secret to achieving large rear delts. Don't neglect them. This is something that we use to bring up our delts for our comp prep in the past two years. I would usually do this exercise maybe twice a week and it's helped me a lot. So be sure to share it with a friend, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Peace. What's up guys? About to hit arms. Gonna meet up with our boy. Oh my goodness, not friggin' again.